NFL imperialism, but I'll be using the all-time versions of every NFL team. They'll be playing four 15-minute quarters until one team stands. And the first team attacking would be the Broncos, and they would be going southwest. And when we put the arrow on the map, it looks like the Broncos will be attacking the Arizona Cardinals first. So right off the bat, we're getting action. And for all-time teams, it looks like it's going to be a 91 overall versus a 90 overall, but both teams have their best players on it. So let's see what they can do. Man, and it looks like going into the second half, Broncos are up 10 to 6. That's actually pretty good for them. And with two minutes left, the Broncos needed to score. Man, John Elway, bro, are you going to get a touchdown right here? And he gets it? No, he does. Oh, he does. Okay, he does get it. Okay. It looked like he caught it at the one, so I was very questioning it. Rod Smith, though, man. Bro, I'm not going to lie. Seeing some of these players, bro, like, it brings back so much stuff, man. And the Cardinals with the game on the line decided to do this. Man, honestly, I don't know if the Cardinals are going to get this done. This Broncos defense is, like, so... Oh, they just do a pick. And just like that, the Cardinals get absolutely eliminated. Along with Denver's dominant win, they get to take a player from the Arizona Cardinals team. Now, based on this wheel, this will decide if what position they can actually take from the Cardinals. And right now, it looks like they will be taking a running back from them. Okay, they already have Terrell Davis, so they could line him up with someone else. And it looks like the Cardinals actually have Otis Anderson at running back, so that could definitely help them a ton. Now, for our next wheel spin, let's see who we get. We get the Denver Broncos again. So these dudes are really trying to go insane right now now let's see which direction the broncos will be attacking from and it looks like they'll be attacking from the bottom right okay and it looks like the broncos next opponent will be the houston texans after an easy field goal in overtime the broncos beat the texans and after the broncos landed on right tackle they were able to get laramie tunsil from the texans and this would help their team out a ton and just like that the broncos take even more territory the texans are off the game now man the broncos are off to the best start they could possibly have hopefully they don't land on the wheel again again thankfully they don't and this time the titans will be taking their chance to attack and the titans would end up attacking west which would be the jaguars yeah i'm not gonna lie the titans are a 90 overall and the jaguars are an 83 i think this is actually gonna be embarrassing like uh jaguars fans you guys should close your eyes now you know it wasn't that embarrassing of a loss 26 to 21 but you know what it, an effort like that is not gonna make it here okay and the titans will be able to get a position from the jaguars and hopefully it's on defense because they do have jalen ramsey there and it's right outside linebacker okay i'm pretty sure there's someone good there there has to be and it looks like the titans will be getting josh allen from the jaguars okay that's actually not bad for them yeah and you know a good effort to the jaguars but sadly you're just gonna get taken over our next spin would land on the bills and they'd be attacking southwest and the bills will be attacking the falcons our best matchup yet with 294 overall teams going against each other this game was going to be close but the bills wouldn't let the falcons last long yeah bills beat the falcons 21 to 14 that was actually a pretty easy win for them the bills do get a position from the falcons Falcons, and it should hopefully be on defense for them and it's gonna don't weigh that lands on cornerback they're gonna get Deion sanders yeah and you know what the bills just got the best deal of the game Deion sanders that's literally insane and the bills are gonna take all that falcons territory and it's just gone now wow the next team attacking was the carolina panthers and they wanted to try to take over the jets but they fail miserably oh yeah this is looking so bad for the panthers right now 24 to 10 yeah and you know what very tough for the panthers they're just gonna get eliminated jets totally just like destroyed them now obviously the jets do get to take the player from the panthers and let's see who they will be getting and it looks like it will be another quarterback is getting taken okay and the jets would be getting an upgrade in josh norman and then the rams would be attacking the chargers it would be a battle for la yeah so the rams are a 96 and the chargers are an 89 this could actually be a pretty tough game for the chargers but the chargers ended up finding a way beating the rams 37 to 28 and the chargers just absolutely take the rams territories and they had zero chance man all right now let's Let's see who the Chargers are going to take from the Rams now. They're probably going to get someone good, guaranteed. And the Chargers would be getting a 60 overall fullback who's trash. And the wheel would land on the Titans, but this time they would be taking Mississippi. All right, so Titans did game some more property. Let's see what's going to happen next. And the Bills get another turn. Wow, we're getting back-to-back -back double moves for people. Okay. And the Bills would be attacking just about north, which would point to the Buccaneers. And we're going to have another tough matchup between 294 overall teams, but the Bills did just get Deion Sanders, so this should help them out a ton. But the Bills came out firing, winning 52-38 to in a very easy blowout win. And the Buffalo Bills were starting to gain a lot of territory. And the Bills would be taking 
attacking left tackle Donald Penn from the Bucks, which would help the team out a ton. All right, let's see who will be attacking next. The Bills did some pretty good damage. It looks like it'll be the Seahawks, I think. Wow, okay. I'm a Seahawks fan, so this should definitely be great for me. It looks like we'll be attacking East, so that should be pretty good for us. And the Seahawks are able to add Idaho to their territory. Great move by the Seahawks right there. Let's see who's going to be attacking next. And it looks like it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, this is a team that I think will definitely be tough to beat. And it looks like they'll be attacking from Southwest, I guess. Okay. And it looks like the Chiefs will be attacking the Broncos, which will be the first big attack of the game for sure. And it's also a divisional game, so it's definitely going to be pretty interesting. Nah, both these teams are going to be nasty, but the Chiefs offense is actually going to be ridiculous. They're selling. Oh, 37. Yeah, nah, this game's over. 38-17. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Yep, and now all the Chiefs get is just this whole territory right here. Man, they're going to have so much stuff to hold now. Now, the Chiefs do get someone from the Broncos, so let's see who they are going to get. And it looks like it's going to be a running back. Okay, so they're going to be able to take Terrell Davis from them. The next team attacking would be the Chicago Bears, and they'd be attacking a little bit north, which would be the Colts. It looks like the Colts have a 92 overall, and the Bears have a 90. Both teams look pretty even, I feel like, so this should be a pretty good game. And the Bears had a stress-free win, beating the Colts 24 to 13. And the Bears would even get a great strong safety in Bob Sanders. And just like that, all Colts fans, y'all are just out of the game now. All right, the Colts got absolutely destroyed. Let's see who's going to be moving next, and it's going to be the Steelers this time. Okay, that's going to be a good move for them. And if we look, it looks like the Steelers will be playing against the Titans, which have a lot of territory on them right now. So this is going to be a very big game for the Steelers. And with both teams being very close and overall, this game was going to be close. Man, let's see. This is like the final play of the game. Are they going to get it? Bro, he threw that. Oh. Oh, they picked it off. Yeah, you guys are going home. Yep, have a good time. Yeah, I'm sorry, Steelers fans. Y'all got owned by the Titans. That's tough. Now, the good thing for the Titans is they will be able to add another position to their team. Hopefully, it's on the offense side because I feel like they kind of struggle there still. And it looks like it's going to be free safety. I think they're already kind of good at free safety, but let's see what they can get. Yeah, it looks like the Titans are going to be getting a 99 overall free safety. That's a little insane. And our next matchup would be yet another divisional game being the Jets versus the Bills. And with the way the Bills team was improving, I thought the Bills had an easy win on them. I think I wasn't wrong at all. There's really no chance for the Jets, I feel like. And honestly, that's tough for the Jets, but they just got absolutely swept. And the Bills would end up landing taking a quarterback from the Jets but this wouldn't help them at all. All right, let's see who'll be going next because the Bills already just did amazing damage and it looks like it'll be the San Francisco 49ers. Okay. All right, let's see where we will be attacking from. And it looks like it'll be Southeast again. Like that's like the same direction we're almost getting every time now. Bro, this is probably gonna be the best game we've had so far. The Cowboys versus the Niners and the Cowboys are 97 and the Niners are 94. This game's gonna definitely be very close. But I was quickly proven wrong. Oh God, this game's not even close. 23 to 10 26 to 10 okay uh i thought it's gonna be like 20 times closer but we were obviously wrong yikes and the niners might have just been the best all-time team in this game now even better for the niners they will be able to take a player off the cowboys so this could really be someone really well for this team the niners would be taking an elite guard in zach martin from the cowboys and we would quickly see the new niners team as the saints would be attacking them and shockingly the saints are 95 overall going into 96 overall 49ers team this could definitely be pretty interesting yeah 20 20 to 14 now honestly these dudes can actually get it done now to keep in mind each team does have three timeouts still so they could easily take their time with this ball right here and the niners would win this game on a game ceiling touchdown man and the 49ers continue their rampage by taking over the saints it looks like the saints will be giving away craig hayward to the 49ers now the next team attacking would be the titans and they would be going against the chiefs the Titans played a really good game, but the Chiefs were just simply better. And the Chiefs offense got even better as they were able to steal a wide receiver from the Titans. And just like that, the Kansas City Chiefs take over all the Titans territory. Man, and so far right now, the Chiefs have a crazy big lead over everyone else. All right, let's see who will be attacking next. And it looks like it's going to be the Green Bay Packers. Okay. And it looks like this time we'll be attacking just a little bit below the West. And it looks like the Packers will have to go against the Minnesota Vikings, who are going to be a rivalry game. And with the Vikings being a 79 overall, I thought the Packers had an easy win in their hand. So the Vikings are winning 31 to 6, and there are 79 overall. And the Vikings were able to upset the Packers 38 to 13. Yeah, and Vikings just really take over the Packers spot. That was absolutely embarrassing. And the Vikings would be able to take a fullback from the Packers, but who really cares about fullbacks? And on the Bengals next turn, they would claim South Dakota. All right, let's see if we can get a real good attack going. And it looks like the next person is going to be the Chicago Bears. All right, let's see what the Chicago Bears will be attacking towards. And it looks like it's gonna be just north and it looks like the bears will be challenging the vikings now so the vikings have to go to battle again bears absolutely embarrassed the vikings beating
beating them 31 to 7. Not gonna lie, it's a tough time to be a tight Vikings fan for anybody, but they just got absolutely eliminated. All right, let's do a position the Bears will be taking from the Vikings. If it's wide receiver, they're gonna get someone really good guaranteed. And it looks like it's gonna be tight end. I don't know who the best Vikings tight end even is. And it looks like the Vikings will have to give up Kyle Rudolph. And now it was the Giants' turn to attack, and they would be attacking their division rivals, the Eagles. And it looks like the Giants are an 89 overall, and the Eagles are a 92, so this game could actually be pretty close. And the Giants proved right away that they were here to win. Yeah, I think the Giants might have done it. Yeah, the Giants totally just upset the Eagles. All right, and just like that, the Eagles' territory gets taken away. All right, let's see what player the positions the Giants will be taking from the Eagles. And honestly, the Eagles have a great team, so they could really use anything right now. And it looks like it'll be right tackle, which I know the Eagles have a good right tackle. And the Giants would be getting Lane Johnson, who would help them out a lot. And now is the Commanders' turn to attack, and they would be going against the Browns. Now, personally, I think this game's gonna be very close because the Commanders have a great team, but the Cleveland Browns also have some pretty good legends on them. The Commanders ended up beating the Browns 34 to 31 after the Browns could not score on the final drive. Time to the Browns. They're eliminated. And the Commanders would be taking DN Bill Glass from the Browns, who nobody has ever heard of. But the Commanders wasted no time on attacking again as they would be attacking the Lions their very next turn. Yeah, actually, you know what? This is actually a pretty close game. 24 to 21 with like 13 minutes left. And after this drive for the Commanders, the Lions felt hopeless. All right, let's see where he'll be throwing to. And he gets a shot right down the middle to get a touchdown for the Commanders. And yep, sad time for the Lions. They get absolutely eliminated by the Commanders. And the Commanders would be adding tight end Charlie Sanders from the Lions, which again, nobody has ever heard of. The Bengals would go next and they would gain some more territory. And the Bengals would be attacking again, this time going against the dominating Bears. And 95 overall team versus a 90 two overall team is a pretty decent difference it looks like the Bengals and bears are tied right now third quarter and we're about to go into the fourth and the Bengals take a little three-point lead and they kick another field goal by six okay and yup they immediately throw a touchdown pass and they're right back in it and the bears will kick a game-winning field goal to win 20 to 19 and the bears end up winning a huge game to gain a lot of territory from the Bengals. and the bears would be taking anthony munoz from the Bengals. The Chiefs would be the next team attacking and they'd have to go against the Bears. Whoever wins this game is going to take over a lot of territory. And the Bears came out dominating right away going up 17 to 7. But in Chiefs fashion, they ended up making a comeback. All right, let's see what Jay Culler can do for the Bears here. Honestly, I don't see a ton that he can do, but he throws a great pass to number one. Alshon Jeffrey, man, I forgot about that dude actually. Oh snap, and they're going for two? Who are they going to throw it to even? Wow, they actually got it. Nice, so they actually go up seven now. All right, let's see. Mahomes on second and goal. He's got to get something going at least. And he actually does. 25, Jamal Charles. Wow, he just caught a good ball. The Bears would kick a game-winning field goal to let them take all the Chiefs' territory. The Bears would be taking Jerry Mays from the Chiefs, who would be a great edge rusher for them. The next team attacking would be the 49ers, and they would be going against the Bears. And this game was going to be close, but it wasn't. 28-6, to six, honestly, this, this is looking bad for the Bears. I, I didn't think the Bears would be this bad. In my opinion, on the best team, quickly changed. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I think the 49ers just sealed their spot as the best team on this map. And just like that, the Bears get absolutely eliminated. The 49ers were able to steal a running back from the Bears, which would be Walter Payton. This made their team way better than everyone else's. Now, this 49ers team has 499 overalls. This team has to be the best. Man, we now have officially 10 teams left, so it's going to be coming down to the wire. And our next team to attack will be the New York Giants. The Giants would be attacking North, which would mean they go against the Patriots. This was going to be a classic Super Bowl matchup. Giants and Patriots were keeping this game very close. But then the Patriots at the very end decide to take over. Now, the Patriots thought have a ton of time to waste so they're probably just going to try to run it out to the two minute warning i would think and they actually don't they're just going to score a touchdown right away and that probably seals it too the patriots would end up winning and they would take all the giants territory and the patriots were able to steal plaxico burrows from the giants which would help their team out a lot the bills would be the next team attacking and they'd have to attack west which would point them in direction of the dolphins who have been shocking everybody this whole game this bills dolphins game might be the best game we see today just for it to be a blowout and yeah honestly for bills fans this is like really embarrassing 40 4 to 10. Not only did the Dolphins take more territory, they were able to make the O line stronger by taking the left guard from the Bills. All right, we got eight teams left here. Let's see what will be going next. And it looks like it's going to be the Patriots this time. And it looks like the Patriots will be attacking Southwest. It looks like we have a Patriots versus Commanders matchup here. Both these teams were very balanced, so this game was going to be close. But late into the game, Tom Brady made a huge mistake. You got Tom Brady right here, all the way by himself in the pocket. Let's see if he'll get a good touchdown pass here. And he throws a pick. Is that going to be a pick six? Oh my God, this dude this dude just actually stole. Ken Houston just got a pick six. All right, if the Commanders can get the two-point conversion right here, that would literally like make this an overtime game probably. 
and they're gonna get it. Oh my God, Tom Brady literally just stole these dudes. But in Tom Brady fashion, he was able to drive his team down the field to attempt a field goal to win the game. All right, and the Patriots are setting up for a game-winning field goal right here. If they can get this, they'll be moving on. And it looks like he hits it. Oh my gosh. Now let's not forget, Tom Brady nearly sold this game with that pick six. But you know what? It's fine now. They're going to be moving on. I Man, I can't believe the Patriots really won this game. They get all this property now, and they have a huge advantage in this game. All right, the Patriots will be taking somebody from the Commanders now. And probably imagine if it was Ken Houston, that'd be kind of funny. Looks like it's not going to be. It's going to be a left tackle. And it looks like the Patriots will be getting Trent Williams from the Commanders. That's actually huge. Next team attacking would be the 49ers, and they would just end up gaining some territory. The next team attacking would be the Raiders, and they would have to go up against the hardest team on the map being the 49ers. This game was going to be rough for them. The Raiders were able to keep this game close, but at the end of the game, the 49ers went on a game-winning drive to set themselves up for a field goal. And the 49ers kicked their field goal, and... They made it. And now the 49ers just take all of this Raiders territory. And the 49ers will obtain Roddy Hudson from the Raiders for beating them. It would be the Ravens' turn to attack next. And they would have to go against the hardest team on the map being the 49ers. And the game was just as embarrassing as I thought it would be for the Ravens. 45 to 10. Yeah, this is really bad already. That That's horrible. Yeah, just get your pain over with already. I'm just gonna, yeah, just get rid of your guys' territory. You guys had a good game though. And the upgrade the 49ers would be getting would be a 74 overall center. Yeah, let's just move on. It would be the Dolphins' turn to attack attack next and they have to go against the 49ers this game was going to be very tough for the Dolphins but if they could win this they would be the best team on here for sure the 49ers and the Dolphins kept this game very close the whole time and they even forced it to the overtime and the Dolphins with four minutes left in overtime had a chance to win the game all right let's see Dolphins here if they can make this then they take all that 49ers territory and they move on and I think they sunk it oh my god they sunk it the Dolphins really just did that. And after all that for the 49ers, they're going to get eliminated. And the Dolphins would be taking an outside linebacker from the 49ers being Derek Smith. And the Dolphins would have yet another turn to attack, but they would just end up gaining some more territory. And yet again, we would have another team claiming territory being the Patriots. And the next team attacking would be the Patriots again. But this time they would have to play against the Dolphins. You can already imagine how this game went. Yeah, and you know what? The Dolphins just won this game. It doesn't even matter at this point. The Dolphins won. Unbelievable. Patriots, just get out of here. You guys got absolutely destroyed. That was so embarrassing. And the Dolphins would be getting a huge upgrade at cornerback as they would take Ty Law from the Patriots. And somehow the Dolphins have literally overtaken this whole thing. Now look, as a Seahawks fan, can we please just see the Seahawks play for a second? And we're not going to. We're going to see the Chargers play, actually. It looks like the Chargers will be going northeast. And it looks like we're going to have a Chargers-Seahawks matchup. I think the Seahawks are going to win this game. I wish I could say the Seahawks-Chargers game was close, but it wasn't. The Seahawks would end up being the Chargers 9-27, to which would move us on to the final round. Sadly, the Seahawks upgrade did not help them at all, so we just had to move on to the final game. But I had to find a way to rep my favorite team. Now, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but like we got a Seahawks jersey here. And again, the Dolphins are 89 overall. That is actually a scam. The Seahawks are 94 overall. I think they could be a little bit higher, but either way, it's going to be a very good matchup. But now it's time to find out who is the best all-time team. The Dolphins and Seahawks were able to keep the score close for most of the game, but it was obvious who would end up winning. Oh my god, we got this. We have this. We have this in the bag. It's literally right there. They may not have done that many moves. It does not matter. We won the game at the end of the day. The one team that could beat the Dolphins in this. Man, as a Seahawks fan, this feels so good to do right now. Oh my goodness. And the Seahawks would take their spot as the best all-time team. And if you want to see another wild video, click the video on the screen where I said Mr. Beast's career. And trust me, it gets crazy.